You've spent hours out under the stars, far away from the city lights, carefully capturing your deep sky target. But when you get home, opening the files, and boom, a satellite, a plane, or a bright line slicing straight through your nebula. Sound familiar? Today I will show you how to completely remove satellites, planes and random sky artifacts with just 5 clicks in Deep Sky Stacker. Most people make the same mistake, they're using the wrong stacking mode and that's why those ugly trails, flashes and even sensor noise end up in the final image. The first step is to open the Deep Sky Stacker and open picture files. After you open the light frames, Input the dark, the flat images, and the bias frames. Click here, check all, and now you will see light frames 43, dark frames 40, flat frames 20, and offset bias frames 41. So now click register checked pictures, uncheck this, we don't want to stack right after the registering. Go here, we want to see a number like 100 or 200, not more, not less. Go to the recommended settings and use here the Sigma Clipping Combination method. This is the setting to erase any satellite, any plane and anything moves in your frame. After that go to the stacking parameters. I always set here to mid and kappa Sigma Clipping in all my files and I check the hot pixel detection and removal. Press the OK, here OK, and now the deep sky stacker is gonna see all the light frames and put here a score so we're gonna know which are the good frames and which are the bad frames. And now as you can see here is the score of each image and if we click an image and we turn up the brightness, we're gonna see if everything is okay. If you see any star trails or anything like that, you can delete it. And after you keep only the best images you want, you go here and click the stack checked pictures. Recommended settings. Be sure that Sigma Clipping Combination method is on green stacking parameters and here you can adjust if you want to have a mosaic or if you want the standard mode and I always use the drizzle because I did my images and it helps with the noise. Here always the Kappa Sigma clipping and the other settings media Kappa Sigma clipping. It's ok and go to stack. And after the stacking, we see an image something like this from the serial in the auto stretch preview. We can see the real image no planes, no satellites, no bad frames, no star trailed, everything good with just five clicks. So now you know, with just five clicks, you can clean up your stacked image, remove unwanted artifacts, and get the image you actually deserve. If this helped you, hit that like button and subscribe to Cosmic Lens for more deep sky tips, astro processing and behind the scenes content.